Let's let this stuff turn itself on. Alright. <clears throat> Okie doke. Alright, why is my title not right? Alright, why is my title not right? Oh. Alright, let me fix the title real quick. Boys and girls, boys and children of all ages, welcome into the show. I am your host, Big Rob. Welcome on in. How the hell is everybody doing? Hope you've had a good day. Hope you've had a great day, as a matter of fact. Uh, what's on the agenda today? It's, of course, space pew, space pew pews and chill. So, we're going to do some STO per the use. We're going to do some daily stuff, get our daily event out of the way, and let's pick up our free Phoenix box. There we go. There's our free Phoenix box. I need to check the Zen store, C store, and see if there's anything new that's free. See if there's any promos. Probably doubt it. If they don't hide it somewhere, that is. Uh, it's in the starter packs. Uh, ship bundles, I know that's not in there. Ships, no. Duty officers, no. Items, anything new? If any lockbox? Nope. Let's go with slots and services, probably not. Uniforms, the same old, same old. Personnel, same old, same old. Promos, nothing new. Okay, so what are we gonna do today? Well, we're gonna do. It's a little dude. His name's Big John. It's Big John. He's so tiny. Ironic. The irony is his name is Big John. And he's T tiny. All right, Don't let's return to the ship. And once we get to our ship, we're going to do the daily so we can get our uh, daily event token for the event so we can get the Rift, Imperial Rifts space set, which I hear is really good. It's a really good space set. Uh, what is it? Shield, everything else. It's, all, it's a good set from what I understand. So we're going to make sure that we do this event and get it. We're not far from the end on this one. We've got six more days left after today. Five more after today. Excuse me. So we're going to get into the event. Uh, as far as what we're going to do after we get done with STO is, I don't know. I'm think I don't know if I'm going to switch over to just cause four and start blowing shit up at random. Or if I'm going to switch over to maybe Warframe or something else. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I have to think about that. I have to think about that long and hard and see what's on my mind, maybe. We'll see. See what comes to me. What I am feeling. I think my controller's about ready to die. Let me plug it in real quick. I don't need it dying in the middle of a thing. I don't need to get in the middle of a damn TFO and the damn thing die on me. So I need to go ahead and 
go ahead and get it playing. Alright, why is this thing not... Uh... Why is this thing not... queuing up? That UC, that's my boy UC right there. He's got the scent frigate. I want that ship. It's a trippy looking little thing. Is this thing gonna queue up or not? I don't understand why it doesn't. It doesn't queue up as as quickly here as it does at ESD. There it goes. Oh. There it goes. Take it off. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do uh, Just Cause 4 or Warframe. I haven't made up my mind. I might pick something else. I had not need to decide about that. We'll see. Yeah, I'll think about it for a minute. I might just stick with this all night. I don't know yet. Captains. It Captain. is with Solus, the Synthuk, rescued and once resist. All right. Rom the Warbird. A vengeance. I don't know about that one. There's a... Which one is that? Tactical, tactical cruiser. I don't know. Anyway, so turning the defense net against targets. What are we gonna Mars? talk about tonight? Uh, some sad, sad news which happened, which actually happened last week, and I forgot to mention it Saturday. But um, Mia Furlon, who those of you who do not know who that is. She played the Lynn on Babylon 5. If you've ever watched Babylon 5, uh, Ambassador Delenn was... That's, what her, that's who her character was. She was also on Lost and a few other shows. But most people know her from either Lost or uh, Babylon 5. A lot of the sci-fi guys know her from Babylon 5. Uh, non-sci-fi guys know her from Lost. But she passed away last week. It was a sad, sad thing to, do, to hear about. Um, it's always, it's always, a, it always hits sometimes when you, you hear about the passing of somebody like that from a character that you know from different shows. Especially because she was not that old. She was like in her 60s, I think? 69, I think? So she was not... It's not like she didn't have... She hadn't lived a... She didn't have a long... She hadn't had a long... She had lived a, a very long life, you know? Um, I didn't really... I hadn't I forgot to read what, what the cause was if she was battling like a uh, cancer or something like that. I don't know. Don't know the the exact details about it, but uh, it is a it is regardless it is a sad sad loss uh, for the Babylon Five family, uh, just for and her family in general. Um, I remember I used to watch Babylon Five back when it was on. I thought it was a really good show. It started out kind of 
I, I couldn't get into it to start with, and I eventually came back to it. And it always interested me. When it got to like the Shadow War, and they brought out the White Stars and stuff like that, that's when I really got into it. Because the White Stars on Babylon 5 were just really awesome looking ships. So that was kind of sad. Uh, on... Of course, you all know I tend to, which I said I wasn't going to do it anymore. I tend to dabble in political nonsense. Every once in a while, I'll get into it. Something stupid will happen, and I'll think about it and talk about it. And I'll get pissed off about it when I think about it. I'll get more pissed off about it when I start talking about it. Uh, of course, this week is this week the craziness that ensued from uh, day one executive orders coming down from the president. Me, you know, I don't care for politicians that much anyway. Uh, they're all crooked, in my opinion. Uh, none more so than what's in there now. Uh, the satellites are turning to send control. The between the censorship they brought upon them, and then they're going to do an impeachment trial on a man who is not even the president anymore. You hate him. I get it. But, the Constitution plainly states that you cannot impeach a non-sitting president. You can't. Legally, you just cannot. So it's kind of stupid. It's spiteful. It's vindictive. It's petty, realistically. Uh, I, saw an inter I saw some of Tulsi Gabbard. She, of course, is the Democrat senator, senator from Hawaii. I saw like bits and pieces of her interview on Joe Rogan. And she was talking about... The, the politicians are like high, like high school. Realistically, she's probably dead on. Um, you know, they all have their little cliques. The Democrats have their cliques. The Republicans have their cliques. So she's probably kind of accurate on that from a, sin, from a certain standpoint. And they're... She's probably right. They are. They. They. They all have their little clicks. Um, Rand Paul made a really good speech on the Senate floor today in regards to it. And my take on it is this: I don't really think that the Senate Democrats just the Democrat Party in general have really uh, thought about the implications for what they're going to do what they're about to do <clears throat> if they open up this can of worms about impeaching a non-sitting president it's going to set a precedent the problem with setting that precedent is any and all former and current presidents will come under that scrutiny meaning that uh, meaning that Bill Clinton could possibly be impeached a second time even though he's out of office Obama could be impeached for some of the stuff that he's done that just came out in trials and all and investigations. Biden, of course, is going to come under scrutiny. Harris is going to come under scrutiny. George W. Bush can come under a lot of scrutiny <coughs> from some of the stuff he's done. So, I think it sets, <clears throat> politically speaking, 
it sets a dangerous precedent that shouldn't even be, it shouldn't have even been considered. It should have been dropped as soon as the man's gone. As soon as the man left, it should have been dropped. End of discussion. Number one, <clears throat> the man didn't break any laws. He didn't incite a riot as a, uh, excuse me, an insurrection, as they call it. And if you watched Rand Paul's speech on the Senate floor today, where he went over every bit of that today, he made a very valid, he made very valid points. Rand Paul, give him credit. Uh, he made some very, very good points today in that in, in his speech on the Senate floor. Very All good. Satellites are coming under synth control. And Operational he area basically put Senate Democrats on blast to say that the only reason you're doing this is for your petty vendetta and you need to just let it go. You've been fighting the man for four years. You finally got rid of him. It's time to let it go. You got what you want. You got the presidency, you got the presidency and you got both houses of Congress. You got it all. It's time to let it go. But they don't and won't because they want to be, you know, just petty. And in some ways, I say let them do it. I say let them do it. Let them get, let them show their stupidity. And then if I was the Senate Republicans, which the Senate whoa, whoa, Republicans are not going to do it because they ain't got no balls. I would look at every single one of them and I would over. tell them flat out what I was going to do. It's Meaning, I would look right at them and say, if you do service. this, you're setting precedence to have it done to any and all any current, and to past, and future presidents of the United States. Think about that long and hard. Because there is a past Democrats president to be exact who have done dirty dealings and technically didn't get away with it because all of that's got away with it to start with but all that stuff has come to light here recently do you really want to open up that can of worms to all those people think about it real long and hard and I don't think they've thought it through very well because they put their petty squabbles, their petty differences, ahead of, and Rand Paul said it best, instead of worrying about a stupid impeachment trial, we need to be doing the work of the country. It shows just how much that politicians today don't give two shits about anything other than power. That's all they care about. Getting it and keeping it. That's all they care about. They don't give two squats. They don't give two shits about nothing else but that. And that's the sad, sad state that today that, that, that politics is today. It's not about getting things done for what people need. It's about how can I... It's about, nah, 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 I don't like your side, so I'm going to do this. Nah, 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 I don't like your side, I'm going to do that. And it's like... Uh, is only 15 kilometers in radius. Stephanopoulos over the weekend was bitching at Rand Paul telling him that the white boy about the uh, stuff, saying that he needed to do this. He needed to agree that it wasn't that, it wasn't this, it wasn't that. Rand Paul's thing was is that it wasn't investigated. And he's right, it wasn't truly investigated anyway. And we don't know what truly happened because nobody would look at it. Nobody would give it the time of day because they didn't want, because they just wanted him gone. Because, like I've said, it's not about you not know, during the election. It's not about you not voting. For, you don't need, you don't need to vote for a person. A person doesn't make a shit. It's that person's policies that matter. Is that person's policies going to benefit you? Is that person's benefit policies going to? be a detriment to you. All That's the word that matters. Is as sure as many escape the area as and possible. instead, they let their uh, they let their petty differences get the best of them. 
treat people how you want to be treated. We've forgotten that. People have forgotten that. But it'll be alright. Uh, let's see. Where am I at? Okay, 15. I got five more days left. Perfect. Let's go to here. See what's in here. Go here, here. Alright, somebody's got to have fleet marks in here. I remember seeing one somewhere. A fleet mark dump somewhere, right? Gotta be one somewhere. Cause I got a crap ton of fleet marks that I need to get rid of. Everybody's at dilithium. Bum 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 bum. Oh, that reminds me, I got to hit my dilithium. Bring some more out. There we go. There's some. There's a fleet marked up. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, so. I am going to, since I've already got the. Uh, since I've already got the thing, I'm going to trans warp to. ESD. Ugh, I'm gonna take a sip of water. Ugh, my water bottle's got a funky taste to it. Might get a fresh one. we talking about? Ooh, sports news. The Bucks are going to the Super Bowl against the Chiefs. Tom Brady, oh my god, Tom Brady. A lot of people would call him the GOAT. I don't know if I'd call him the GOAT. He's good. He's getting up there. And I, when they said he, when he uh, decided to go to the Bucks, I was shocked. I was like, well, he's trying to prove that he's got one more year in him. And I'll be damned if he didn't make it to the Super Bowl. I'll be damned if he didn't take the Bucks to the Super Bowl. I was so shocked when I seen that yesterday. Not yesterday. Sunday. So good for him, showing that old people can still keep on going. <laughs> hey, Tom Brady showed that even if you're old, you can still play football. So congratulations to the Bucks, congratulations to the Chiefs for making it to the Super Bowl, even though, you know, they politicized just like the NBA did. They politicized themselves into poor ratings. Nobody really gives a shit. But, you know, I say congratulations to Tom Brady for making it to the Super Bowl. UFC fight over the weekend. I don't know if anybody else caught it. I, I did. I watched the Poirier, Poirier and Conor McGregor. I was so shocked to see. Well, I take that back. I wasn't really shocked to see Conor get beat because I. Conor's got some ring rust in him. He didn't really look like himself in that fight. The first round he looked okay. The first half. Let me rephrase that. The first half of the first round he looked okay. But once Poirier took him to the ground. You could look at Connor's face, and he had he was he was, he, was, he had lost. He'd given up. I don't know if he was just not conditioned enough. I don't know if Connor wasn't conditioned enough. If he didn't work on his conditioning for his prep, if he just thought that this was going to be an easy fight because he'd beat him one time before, and he thought it was just going to be a walk in the park. 
and so he didn't prepare for it but Poirier Poirier come into this fight ready and he gave Connor all he could give him and took him out so I give him his props um, I watched a couple of the undercards uh, I, I did watch a couple one or two of the under I did watch one undercard fight I think I watched the uh, Michael Chandler the Bellator, former Bellator guy who came in UFC I think it was his debut if I'm not mistaken uh, and he he looked strong and he flat out challenged Khabib he challenged McGregor he challenged everybody so he flat out throw down the gauntlet he is ready to go and he looked strong uh, he looked really good in that fight I mean he did not waste any time um, there was a women's fight right before that I didn't catch that one though but I did catch the Michael Chandler fight and I did watch McGregor's fight I am kind of disappointed in Connor I thought he would have done a better job but he was gassed after Poirier took him to the ground he was gassed that was it you could look you could kind of see the look on Connor's face that he didn't really know what to do with him after that um, and what kills me is Connor had chances to take him down when he was on the All ground right, not on the ground the but when he was on the fence we need to, one more he thing. had chances to take him he had chances to get Poye. He had chances for knees right to the face. He had several opportunities to knee him in the head. And didn't take him. I don't know if he was just confused or if he didn't think he had or if he didn't realize he had a shot and didn't take it. But he he had a couple of missed opportunities when he had when him Poye had him trapped up against the fence. And he just didn't take them. And that goes back to, like I said, he just, I, I don't think he, he says he put in the work, but I don't think he really put in the work to prepare for that fight. Because Poirier was in, just looked like he was in a lot better and better prepared. He was better prepared for Connor than Connor was for him. And so, Connor lost. In all reality, Connor didn't need that fight. He really didn't. He made enough money off that disastrous fight with Merriweather that with Floyd that uh, he didn't need that fight. But he took it anyway. He came in half-assed prepared and showed. And so... Will they do a rematch? Who knows? Uh, they both... Poye, I think, would love to do another one because they're both one, they're one and one against each other. Um, Connor, I'm not so sure. I think he wants to... I think this loss pretty much kind of... I didn't watch the post-fight interview, so I don't know what he said. I don't know what remarks he made, but uh, it, it, Connor can come back. I mean, if he'll pr properly prepare for the fight instead of kind of half-ass doing it like he did this time, then you know he may give him a good a good go. That's all the pros but on this island. Time to I think at this one. point it's a, a mute point for Connor to fight again because he uh yeah I don't think his heart is in it when he first started it he, he was in it because he had to prove he wanted he had a lot to prove and I think he after the Floyd loss and the, after the loss to Floyd and the loss to Khabib I think his, uh, I think his confidence took a hit. His, uh, his confidence took, took a big giant hit. 
and I don't know if he's been able to, I don't know if he can come back from that. And then he loses this one. I mean, can he come back? Yes. If he puts in the work, I mean, legit puts in the work, and perhaps he'll do, he can come back from it. He can get back on top where he was. But, I, I don't think he's going to. He might. He might surprise everybody and decide to come make another comeback, but we'll see. But either way, I did get to see the fight Saturday night. I was not really disappointed because I didn't know if he was gonna didn't know if he could, was gonna do it or not, but he didn't. I really wasn't disappointed. The undercard was about the better of fights. Because, like I said, the, the Michael Chandler fight with, uh, I forgot what the guy's name is. He called him the the Hangman. That and fight was a good one. Um, but I did see where uh, dumbass Jake Paul was challenging Conor McGregor. Well, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Jake Paul's a moron to start with. Um, he calls himself a fighter, and he's really not. He's not fought a true boxer. He's fought a YouTube guy, he's fought a couple of YouTube people, and he fought a basketball player. So, how he can call himself a legit fighter, I don't really know. Makes no sense to me. He's just an idiot, in my opinion. Uh, if he gets into the ring with a true fighter, whether that be a true pro boxer or uh, somebody like McGregor, that he's going to get his ass handed to him, which I would gladly watch because he needs to have him. He needs to be put in his place. Uh, he is a YouTuber, he is an idiot, and that's all he's ever going to be. He's doing it for clout, he's doing it for bullshit, and that's just what he's doing it for. And I... Well, you got to give the boys props for making money off of people who, you know, making money off of kids for, so long, for as long as he has. So you gotta give him props on that. But when it comes to like legit stuff, like challenging, true challenging real boxers, uh, he's just gonna get embarrassed. Now he might find one that's not that. He might find one that's kind of a a pushover somewhere the in there. They'll put him. They'll put him in there with a cushy one to start with. So he doesn't get embarrassed, too embarrassed. But to, to sit there and call out somebody like Connor, that's kind of stupid. Because <laughs> to say and to say you're a true fighter, a real fighter, is you know, again that's kind of stupid. But you know, or was it Floyd? No, Logan is the one that's calling out Floyd. I think he's stupid. He's going to get his ass handed to him, too. I don't know what Logan was smoking when he decided to call out Floyd Mayweather, but and Floyd's going to do it. Floyd's going to embarrass him. I don't even know why you'd want to do something that stupid. I mean, I, I get it. Again, it's the same thing. You're doing it for the clout. You're doing it for for whatever. But do you really want to go down like that? I mean, that makes no sense to me. But, I mean, he's going to make his little payday out of it. Which is realistically what he wants in it. Which is realistically what they all want. They want that little payday. And it's kind of smart when you think about it. Because you know Floyd's gonna pull a lot of money. Floyd's gonna pull numbers, so he'll make a lot of money off of it if he negotiates it right. So it's kind of smart on his part. 
Why not challenge one of the best boxers in the world? You know, you'll get a good payday out of it. So it's kind of smart and stupid at the same time. What else is going on in the world? Um, Archduke Antifa. I don't know if I'd put that as my name, dude. Antifa, right this name is not real favorable in the world. Well, I take that back. It just depends on what side of the political spectrum you are on. On one side of the spectrum, that Antifa is the greatest thing you've ever seen and talked about, considering that you've helped fund their nonsense. <clears throat> but. Console data locked. Console alpha locked. You need to shut up. Console data unlocked. Console alpha unlocked. Super Bowl, which I was kind of surprised and not surprised at the same time. Uh, talked about the Connor fight. What else? What else we got to talk about? What can we talk about here? Alright. Why does this dude still got this damn shield on? He's supposed to rotate it between him and another one. Where's the other one? There's another one somewhere. Where is he? Oh, there he is. He switched it. Nope. Where's the other one at? Oh, fine. I don't see him. Ah, oh, crap. He walked away. shield from this guy. There's got to be a way to cut this dude's shield off. Somehow. I 
think it glitched. Because they're both not supposed to have their shield on at the same time. I thought they were supposed to, ro they're supposed to rotate it. What's up, Marksman? <clears throat> See, now I'm just mad because this thing is glitched. Because it's not supposed to have both these guys have a shield on their one at the same time. Wait a minute, he's out of a shield. Perfect. There he goes. That one's down. Yeah, I did too. I finished, well, I didn't finish the whole event, but I did my daily anyway. I have five more days to go. This one I've got five left, but on um, on my Xbox, on the other hand, that's another story because I got started late on it, and then the damn thing was uh, the event, or not the event, the 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 update itself got delayed like a few days, and so I'm behind on it. Yeah, I get that way too every once in a while. I'll forget it. Or I'll do something else. I'll be doing something else and I'll forget about it. <sighs> I need to keep up with these though, because I need that. I really want that. I want that set, that uh, space set. Because from what I understand, that space set is really good. this one. Nope, it wasn't this one. This one? Yep, there it is. Drop some fleet marks in here. Get rid of them. Oh, I need to get my... There we go. Yeah. I need to clean out some inventory. I did manage to get my Phoenix, my free Phoenix box though. I do make sure to keep up with that. If I don't get anything else, I need to make sure to keep up with that. Oh, which reminds me, uh, I know PC, I think, was, had, was getting, I think it's today, if I'm not mistaken, it was today anyway, or it might have been yesterday, free master keys, like five of them, that's what I was thinking, trying to think of, let's see, no, it's not new items. It's not starter packs. Items, maybe. That's what I was going to look for. No. 
No, there's not one over here. That's not in uniforms. It's not in the promo section. So it might not come around. It might not come around on uh, on console for at least another. Well, probably another two months, three months, whenever they decide to. Uh, Yeah, that was what I'm talking about. The anniversary on PC started. That's what they were doing their, the Master Keys for. Console was usually a couple of months. Just depends. Sometimes it can be a month. Sometimes it can be two months. In the instance of this update that just came out was like two and a half, three months behind. So... finish cleaning out this inventory here. Let's see. I should have some stuff in the overflow down here. Yep. Move, move, move and move. There we go. that. Let's go ahead and take fleet marks because I don't really need it on any of my other reps. Yeah. I would be glad when they go ahead and... Oh, which I understand why they don't do the console and PC anniversaries together. I understand why they don't do it, but it'd be nice if they were like at least close somewhat close anyway I mean I know it takes some time to port that stuff over but still And uh, they make more, they probably make more money on their PC crowds anyway. An uncommon, and it looks like a common. Oh, I got a very rare. Oh, shit. Ultra rares where the, yep. Ultra rares where the experimental tokens are, though. It figures. It figures that that's what they would do. Dang it! I needed another one. I could use them. I could have used those two. All right. There's not really much in here I want or need, actually. Don't need those. All right, well, all right, now knock it down to the... I need the upgrades out of it anyway. I need the upgrades anyway. Free upgrades, hey. Can't, can't, can't go wrong there. And that gives me a good little... It gives me 22, that's good. I can use those. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just getting the upgrades. At this point. That's about all they're good for at this that's about all they're good for is the upgrades. There, the rares and very rares, I haven't really seen anything. I mean, there's some emotes and stuff on there, but uh, I don't know if there's anything in there worth using them on. There might be, but 
I haven't seen anything. The only thing I've used it on was, uh, I think it's the very rare. I mean, rare. Was I got the Zephyrin Cockrum shotgun, which does really good against Borg because they can't assimilate it, not assimilate it. They can't um, adapt to it. There you go, because it's all physical damage. So no matter what you shoot, how many times you shoot them, they can't adapt to that shotgun. That dude ship's called Letits now. <laughs> It's kind of wrong. This is a family show. How dare he offend my sense of sensibility? My delicate sensibilities. Somebody. Roll into another TFO. I'll just do regulars. Not really. I don't really need anything. Because I've done all my reps. I do need to do, check on my duty officers. There we go. Oh, a couple of them were bad. It's not good. Alright, foreign dignitaries. Yep. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Like that time. There's a good one. Oh, TFO is finally up. Alright, I have to come back to that one. I'll come back to those later. Ugh! Oh. I am one follower away from the halfway point. I need 50. I, wanted, I was hoping to get to 50. I am almost halfway there. I'm excited about that. It's Pooh! It's the USS Pooh! Ha 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 ha! Silly old bear. Then we need a piglet. There needs to be a piglet somewhere in there. And a tigger. And an eeyore. And an owl. And rabbit. Am I missing somebody? Roo. Roo's mom. Whatever the kangaroo's mom is. I can't remember what her name is. Our intelligence services have this... Our intelligence services. It's a saber. He picked a saber. A Galaxy D, or was it Enterprise D? Not the D. Whatever it was. The three nacelle cell Enterprise. Whatever it was called. Whatever letter it was. I don't remember which one it was. The Riker one. The Romulans have both lines next to the transports. Keep an eye out. Oh, 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 no, no, no. There we go. He has a dreadnought. I'm on fire. Excellent work against those frigates. Just a few more to go. Oh, there we go. There's the mine. 
Target the mine. Target the mine. There we go. Aggravate the thing. Doesn't want to cooperate with me. I ain't what I wanted to do. I don't want to waste a torpedo on that thing. Oh, he's away from home. There we go. Did you get that one? Yeah, you got that one already. That one over there too? Yeah, you must have got it. I got that one already. Okay. What's left? It must be these two of these over here. Wait a minute. It says I got one right here. Aha! It's below me. Ooh! Talking about shows on TV. I've been watching, uh... Warrior off on Cinemax, which I've been watching it on. Uh, I've been watching it off the internet, but still, uh, job is an really awesome show. Um, it takes place in the 1800s. Uh, it's based off of writings from Bruce Lee. His daughter, Shannon. Uh, is one of the producers of the show and stars Andrew Koji, uh, who I never heard of until this show. Uh, as far as I know, I think Andrew Koji is supposed to be, he's playing Storm Shadow in the new Snake Eyes movie, which is going to be interesting. So I read, and uh, but there is a a shit ton of action in that show. I mean, a crap ton. And it 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 it's a I enjoy it. I enjoy watching it anyway. Uh, I I thought it was a really good show. So if you get a chance to watch Warrior, if you can find it on, um, if you can find it either, even though I don't condone sailing the high seas to find it, uh, on your favorite website, or uh, I don't know if Cinemax has their own little uh, thing like HBO Max or something similar to that. Netflix, I think, has it too. Catch it on Netflix too. Even Hulu might get it, have it, I'm not sure. Uh, give it a shot. Give it a whirl, man. I'm telling you, it's non-stop action from start to finish. Facility Alpha is back online. And then I've been... I was trying to catch... I started watching a couple episodes of Season 3 of Cobra Kai. If you're a big Karate Kid fan, uh, Cobra Kai is pretty good. Yeah, deal on PS4. Yeah, the deal prices on PS4 have stayed high for a long time. I don't get it. It usually fluctuates up and down, but uh, on PS4 they have gotten high and stayed there. They've been in the 230s, 240 ranges for a while now. I don't know what's going on with it. I don't think I've seen it hit a high mark and just kind of sit there for a while. Facility gamma, it looks like right. the Falcata. The Falcata. Yeah, 
they've got they've got crazy high I figured it'd come down but yeah I guess it might be because of the Phoenix boxes Is it still? It's because it's sitting at what? Two thirty-nine, I think, was the lowest I saw. Let's see. Well, let me do this first. Two twenty-seven. Well, that's the lowest I've seen in a week, two weeks actually. See, that's like me. I need, I need to buy. I need to get some Zen, and so it's still kind of high right now. Selling Zen for deal is at 224. It is the highest. I mean, they're about even for buying and selling, which is kind of weird, because they usually go in rotation depending on what people need. If they need dilithium, then. Uh, Selling's kind of high. And yeah, those experimental upgrades. Yep, didn't think about that. Where are they? Right there. A thousand for one, and what is it, three thousand for? Is it three thousand for three? Two thousand for three. So everybody's trying to get those experimental upgrades. So yeah, it's probably going to stay high. It's probably going to stay like that for a while till it dies down a little bit. After it dies down a little bit, and everybody's pretty much top selling items are. Keys. Keys still are top sellers. So yeah, they're probably gonna stay high for a while. It's gonna stay nuts until it go until it dies out a little bit. Once it dies out a little bit though, it'll be should be okay, but it's just gonna take a while to get there. <clears throat> Oh, I got specialization points. Let's see. Uh, my strategist is done. Intel. I need to finish maxing out. That one there. That one there. I guess I need to focus on the intel, on the crown stuff, but I can't get myself to do it. <laughs> I don't know if I'd ever resort that far. I guess I need to finish this one out <clears throat> I don't mind throwing companies a bone every once in a while you know if you're really and I say this with all free to plays if you're if you enjoy the game that you're playing every once in a while I don't I don't see it as a bad thing to buy, you know, buy Zen or in Warframe's case, buy Platinum and, you know, 
support your support the support the developer. Yeah. I don't mind supporting the developer if you're into the game and you enjoy it. And it's every, you know, I don't mind, I don't see a problem with doing it every so often, but, you know, when they pretty much make this game where you can play through it and never spend a dime. That's what any, any game some games they put that paywall up there but and on this one it's got a paywall too for a lot of stuff it's not so much pay to win but it's pay to get through faster Oh, that's right. I was going to finish this out. Where was I? Here? Engineering? Just going to finish these out. <laughs> it's usually the way it goes. You find something you want, and they kind of fix the market where you can't really do that. And it's a pain in the butt. Oh, it must be at 20. Yep. There we go. No. Oh. Do 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 do. All right. I think I'm gonna do this. forgot. Did I? Did I hit the thing for the TFO? I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention to it. Oh yeah, there it goes. You talking about the TOS, Connie? Nothing on here. It was something going on outside of my uh, outside of my little office here. Is this thing going to like roll into this TFO or what? I mean, there it goes. can't ever tell. You might use it that one time and it might be your favorite ship. Ah, oh, shit. Right, Not this one again. Problem. House Mokai has seeded EM dark probes in the mycelial network. 
They're radiating EM. We need to. One more thing. Damn, I just did this one. Alright. Yeah, I'm done with this one. I'm not doing that one again. Only the tier one, huh? Mind having that mirror warship? Let's see what's in here. How about that one? Or you want like the um the fancy one from the Zen store? Where is it? Do 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 Somewhere in here I know. Or is it in the levy store? Uh, damn things in here somewhere. There's the Excelsior. I know it's in here somewhere. That one. Nope, not that one. Or is it in the bundle? in a bundle anyway. <sighs> Galaxy pack. No, 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 no. Oh shit, I don't even see it anymore. It's in the starter pack. Oh, that one. Okay. Okay. I got you. The staff is hosting an open house and Yeah, that's what it says, man. You got it. It all comes down to we use it or not. There wasn't one on the exchange. I mean, granted, there's no telling how much you pay for it, but. Can you even get ships on the exchange? I thought you could at one time. Thought you could anyway. Thought you could buy ships on the exchange. 
Or can you not? Maybe not. Console. Do 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 do. Shields, weapon mines, vanity shields. Duty officers. Fleet ship module, starship upgrades. 23rd century bundle and 23rd century uniform. Gotcha. Um. Dress uniform or the like command tunic tunics. Liberated Borg Specialist D officer, 18.5 million or best offer. Somebody selling a Liberated Borg Specialist Duty Officer. I should probably look into getting that, but I don't have that much. I don't got that much EC, man. Hey, it says Michael Burnham. Don't look like Michael Burnham. It's close though. True. I can't say nothing. I run a uh, well, not on this one, but on my on my Xbox versions, I run a I got a TOS character over there, so I run a which I'm running a. What am I running on that thing? The tactical, tactical, one of the tactical cruisers. On it. Okay, well, I have done all I needed to do on here tonight, so I think I'm going to switch over to what I want to switch over to. Do I want to switch over to Just Cause 4 and blow shit up, or do I want to switch over to Warframe? Uh, I think I'm going to flip a coin. No, I'm not. I'm going to switch over to mindless explosions. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Yeah, I like blowing stuff up. So, Alright, give me a few minutes to switch over to uh, Just Cause 4. I will be right back. 